I am going to use these two children books that I received in a Happy Meal as a gift in a fast food restaurant. And I am turning them into a storage mechanism for the laminated wildflowers that I picked from my garden this summer. Let me tell you a little bit about my channel or give you a brief overview about what you might find here and then we'll get started. Now, in looking at this book, I can see that the cover is not fully adhered. I've taken some sandpaper and sanded up the front of the book, and perhaps in doing so, I loosened that cover a bit. You can kind of see here on the one that I haven't worked on that it's much tighter. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that off. And now I'm left with just the cardboard backing or the bone or skeleton of this book. And I wanna get everything that's kind of rough off here. So I'll just set that aside. I might use that some way, somehow, somewhere. So now that we have the substrate that we're going to work with, I have decided that I would like to punch a circular hole through the front of this book. And I have a Big Shot machine. I took the die and took it over to the Big Shot and kind of uh, maneuvered it so it would go through. And here we have the hole in the front of the book. To make it a little more acceptable, or to, for it to accept the acrylic paint that I am going to use. I'm gonna go ahead and give this whole book a coat of gesso. And I'm gonna coat each page front and back so there's some drying time here. We'll come back when everything is, is covered and coated and dried. And I'm just using a white gesso. Depending on what you plan on doing with it, there's you can also color it, use black, whatever, whatever you choose to do. But here we are with the book completely coated, completely covered, and dry. I want to add some texture. And I have this stencil that I just absolutely love that I received in a trade from uh, Christy Hartman. You can purchase this stencil over at PM Artist Studios, and I'll put a link in the description on where you can buy the stencil if you like it as much as I do. But I thought it would go around that little hole that I punched. I put the center of my sunflower right around that hole, and I have texture paste that I've made on my own. I've given you a view of, of how I make that or the components in that. And I'm going to cover front and back of the book with this texture. Now I'll set that aside and let that dry. Now once dry, I want to coat this with a dark green. So I'm taking my two colors and mixing black in with that, I believe it's phthalo cyan green. And I think I've put the actual colors here on the screen in case I didn't get it right, but I'm mixing that together to darken up that green. 
and I shall just paint the outside of this book with that green. Now, my original intention on this book was to make each page a different color. And I changed my mind, but you shall see that I make a mistake here soon and, and we'll correct it and move on. But for now, let's just get this outside front and outside back painted. We'll set that aside and allow that paint to dry. So now that everything is dry, of course, I can't wait until the end to decorate. I am impatient. I, I want to see what it's going to look like. So I have this Gilder's Paste Wax and Bronze, and I want to just illustrate that relief or show that sunflower that uh, it was created by that stencil that I love so much. And I have just some texture here where I just put some texture paste along the side of that stencil and I think that is really showing that relief nicely. We'll do the same thing on the back and I have just picked up a little piece of that Gilder's Wax out of the container because it's it's um, drying, getting dry on me. So I just picked up a little clump of it and have it in my hand and I'm just rubbing it on. Normally when you get that Gilder's Paste Wax, when you first open it, it's a little softer, a little creamier, um, but I've had it for a while. So that's why I'm utilizing it the way that I am. So now I have the front of my book and the back of my book looking the way that I would like for it to appear. So now it's off to decorating the inside, but I hope you like what we're doing thus far. And if so, come on over and subscribe to my channel and join my Facebook group over at Two Old Crows Mixed Media. You can find us on Facebook. There is a very welcoming and very creative group over there. I think you will, would enjoy it quite, quite a bit. We do swaps and different things throughout throughout the year and um, there's, I have an administrator over there, Colleen, who is just wonderful, very welcoming, very active, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate her. But in any event, as I told you, my original thought was to do every page a different color. Well, I painted this, this burnt sienna. Don't really care that much for it. And I put my flower upside down. I had my book positioned the wrong way. <clears throat> so it gives me a good opportunity to correct. So I've covered that first flower with more texture paste. And I'm just taking a plastic comb and coming through that to add additional texture. I've put my flower stencil on the other side. And these flower stencils are just stencils I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I, I really don't know where and don't remember who had them, but just search flower stencil and you'll, you'll find them. And I've gone through each page, put a flower stencil on, put a coat of that um, texture paste on the opposite page, combed through it. And now I'm going back through with the Gilder's Wax and whack just putting that bronze definition on each and every page. Now I have all the pages done 
it's time to think about what we're going to do with a friend and what we're going to do with the I'm not exactly sure what you refer to it as, but the the crease in the fold where the texture paste in the, um, it, it just, the paint kind of is pulling from that union or that joint. So I've decided to make some washi tape to put on each of, of the inside of each of those pages. I'm utilizing just a plain masking tape to do that, and I've pulled out a deli sheet that I can lay that paint down, and it is that, you know, coated paper, that coated deli sheet that it's not going to stick to or stay stuck to. So I'm just putting a few strips of masking tape, and I will come back in with some paint and we'll decorate these to match this book so that we have washi tape that coordinates with the book that we're creating and we'll put it down in each of those joins. Now I've decided to use my jelly plate to do this. I think that will go a lot faster. So let's just get some paint down on that jelly paint plate. We'll go ahead and mix those two colors once again to get that darker green. I'll just mix that up with my brayer. And we'll spread a thin layer out on the gel plate. And I have this stencil to put a little definition into that first color. I'm just laying this stencil on top and pulling some of the um, color out. So we're using it as a mask, I suppose, would be the proper terminology. Maybe not. Correct me if I'm wrong. And there. Now let's lay that tape down on top of that. Some of it stuck to my press. As, as you can see, that deli plate is not going to be hold it, or that deli uh, paper is not going to hold that masking tape, it's going to allow it to come loose quite easily. And we'll just clean this plate off. We may have use for this piece of paper a little bit later. Yeah, that's kind of nice, isn't it? So now let's come back with some gold and this is kind of one of my favorite colors. And we'll do the same thing. So now that that is all complete. I just pulled that gold onto the tape and called it a day. And now I'm going to wrap it around a playing card so I can keep it stored. And I'll just stick it end to end, wrap it around this playing card, and then I will have it for when I'm ready to utilize it. You can see where I put it on that first join. Well, I actually, I guess I've gone ahead and put it, put it on each join. You know, it's, it's funny when you do these and I've been traveling. So I did this project before I started traveling and I don't remember what I did in what order. I'm, 
I'm working through it here as, as I do this voiceover. So stick with me. We'll get through the, the project and, and hopefully you will feel like everything comes together cohesively. I have my flowers, my wildflowers that I dried in a book. I just press them inside a book, let them sit for probably a week and now I'm pulling them out onto a laminate or a laminating sheet and I will run them through the laminator and then we will pull some of those big shot dies and get those usable for projects. So here are my two sheets of laminated wildflowers. My big shot die. And I'll take that um, over and run that through the die. And I'm just cutting along that laminated sheet to make it workable. And that's how it turns out. And I wanted to preserve these flowers, but I wanted a, a spot to hold them and to keep them. I, I have all kinds of places I can store them, of course, but I picked up these books when I was watching my grandchildren and we were going to Chick-fil-A to play in the playhouse or in the play area. And these books were given to them in their Happy Meal. We read the book and I stuck it in my briefcase and or in my purse and, and uh, it wound up coming back home with me. So that is where these books came from. Now I have one of those, as you can see, adhered with some masking tape to appear through that front hole that we created. And now I'm just measuring so I can get the backing. So I'll cut a piece of black cardstock. I'm just going to round off those corners. That's my Chewini barking. And now I'm trying to decide, do I want to put my backing down or my in sheet or my cover down after the washi tape or before? And I've decided after. Diego's decided to make his presence known today. And now I have that sheet that we used um, to pull or to clean the gel press. And I have decided that I am going to go ahead and use that on the inside as the inside front cover. I'm at my shop. My husband must be up in the house and making noise over on the deck because the dog is, is going off. So now I'm just finding some of these uh, wildflowers, showing you what, what we have and what we're going to store inside this book. I think this all turned out pretty nice and will make nice either little dangles or nice insertions in journals. 
So let's get the inside front cover down. And I use that uh, catch paper, if you will, off of the gel press and just punched a hole in the center and then measured it to, to get it to the right dimension to put down as the inside front cover with the capability of my wildflower still showing clear. And we'll put the black cardstock to give us a background for that flower. And I think that looks nice. Now we'll stick the washi tape in. So I decided after I made the decision to put it on first, I came back and put it on um, after everything else was down. I'm going to add some pockets into this booklet as well and add a spine with this rusted uh, fabric. So I just cut a piece of that rusted fabric and adhered it with glue to create my spine. I have a little, uh, I don't know what these are called, thumb thumb clip. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but they're, they're, they're little, um, that's going to drive me crazy. I can't remember what they're called, but anyway, I'm utilizing it to attach my two little wildflowers. I put some seed beads on it. I have this little container full of seed beads and that completes the project. So I added the pockets, which is so simplistic. I didn't think it was worthy of, of showing me cutting that out. I added the fabric spine and with that little um, clip, put the dangles on, which I used two of the laminated wildflowers to dangle. And then I've just tucked all of those laminations inside the different pockets that I created for inside this book. So I do hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't uh, too scattered. Um, it, it seems odd to come back so much later to do this voiceover, but please come join me. I've got lots of things coming, lots of videos that I have to upload. I hope you enjoy the type of content that I have. I thank you very much for being here. And if you would, give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel. I appreciate it. Bye for now.